this problem, we have to verify this trigonometric identity. Let's go ahead and work through it. So when you're verifying trig identities, you usually pick one side and you show it's equal to the other side. Let's start by writing down the left-hand side. So sine squared of theta, all being divided by cosine of theta. And the reason I picked this side is because sine squared is equal to 1 minus cosine squared theta. And that will give us the minus sign that we need to produce on the right-hand side. And on the bottom, we still have cosine theta. Now we can break this up using properties of subtraction. So this is 1 over cosine, or just properties of you know, fraction subtraction. And then minus cosine squared of theta over cosine of theta. 1 over cosine is equal to the secant function. So we have secant theta. And then minus, and then you lose a cosine here, and you're left with one cosine up top. And that's exactly the right-hand side.